Hey, what's up guys? This is Christian DeLupa here with All Things Gear. Now, finding a low cost but durable mixing console has often been a hard task to accomplish. Mackie has come out with a few great mixing consoles over the past few years, but apart from that, until just recently, you've been mostly out of luck. These days, however, there are a few more options. Like, for example, the new Allen & Heath Z series. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at the Allen & Heath ZI-10 FX, which is kind of the flagship of the series. But the ZI-10 FX isn't your average mixing console. It also is a recording interface with four inputs and outputs, making it the perfect option for the live sound engineer who also wants to do some studio work. Now let's dive into the console. Now, Allen & Heath has never been known for its design, but its consoles has never have never really looked that bad either. That tradition seems to continue with the Z series, with looks that are certainly more functional than beautiful. As would be expected from a console of this kind, the left side is largely dedicated to your channels. You get four mono mic or line inputs, as well as three stereo inputs and the built-in effects inputs. All of the four mono inputs offer XLR and balanced or unbalanced TRS inputs, while the stereo inputs stick to TRS. The first two channels also offer a guitar mode, which basically engages the high impedance inputs, which cuts out the need to bring your own DIs on the road. A very nice feature. The other two channels replace the guitar mode button with a line slash pad button, one that cuts the input level by a handy 20 dB. Directly under those buttons, on all four channels, you'll get a low cut filter, which sits at around 100 Hz. Next up are the EQs, and you'll get a high, mid, and low knob on all four of the mono channels, while the stereo channel is decidedly less equipped with only high and low knobs. The remaining knobs include an aux send, FX send, panning, and an overall mix level. The aux send is pre-fader, while the FX send is post-fader, just something to keep in mind while in use. The second stereo channel can serve as either another stereo input, an FX return, a USB return from your DAW, or a source for the FX built into the console. The third and final stereo input can only be taken from USB and used to blend with the aux bus or mix bus with PFL. In the middle of the console are the FX controls. On the right side of the console, you'll find the master section, which has a long throw fader, headphone controls, aux and monitor controls, and a phantom power switch, which is global. Now, in general, I really like how the console looks and it definitely grew on me. Sure, like I said, it's not a design masterpiece, but it's laid out to work well and I think it does work well. Now, using the Allen & Heath ZI-10 FX is just as simple as you might expect. All you need to do is plug it into your computer and get recording if you're using it in a studio setting. And once you plug it in, your DAW should pick it up very quickly. We used it with Pro Tools with no problems at all. Simply plug it in, boot up your DAW, and it should be picked up and good to go. There are a few things to keep in mind while using this console. For example, plugging into the second stereo input cuts the mixer's USB signal. So remember to avoid doing that if you want to keep your mixer connected to your DAW. Now, Alan and Heath told me that users can also configure the DAW to return on stereo channel three instead of two through a firmware update. So keep that in mind. Apart from little things like that, however, the ZI10FX is a very capable and useful little mixer. I tried recording uh, with a range of different instruments on the console, and while I'll get into how that sounded later on, the experience was very fluid and pretty easy. The GS Pre Mic Pre's have a ton of headroom for almost all situations, and the EQ's, which have a smart cue that's automatically controlled by the console, are really quite simple. The monitor system on the ZI10FX is also pretty darn easy to use. It gives you a ton of control over the monitors, and while some might want a few more monitor outputs to have individual control, we found that it works quite well as it is, especially for kind of smaller situations. Now, last but not least, the Allen & Heath ZI10FX is really built to last. It should be able to handle most of the reasonable abuse that you can throw at it, which is really good news considering the people who will buy a small format console like this are probably also on a budget. Okay, well it's all well and good that the ZI10FX is laid out well and looks reasonably nice, but none of that really matters if it doesn't sound good. Thankfully, it does. Let's start with the GS Pre Mic Pre's, which actually sound pretty nice. They're really clean mic pre's, which is really good news for those looking for a budget mixer interface combination, um, as it gives you a little more control over the sound in the box. 
Not only that, but the Pre's have a low noise floor, an important thing to consider in both live and studio situations. Now, the EQ doesn't really give you as much control as you might want, but they sound pretty good nonetheless. There's no denying that in studio situations, you're probably going to want to rely a little more on EQ plugins uh, for your needs, as you'll be able to get a little bit more surgical. But the EQs on the console are definitely more than capable. Sure, you don't really get to set the cue, but the cue the console sets for itself is really quite musical. Sounds good. Then there are the effects. These effects are optimized for send and return use, so they're all time-based. That's to say you'll get reverbs, delays, and some modulation effects. You get a hefty 61 presets, and you can adjust parameters and save presets yourself, which is quite nice. Really, they're a dream for live engineers working in small settings. Again, in a studio situation, you may find yourself relying a little more on in-the-box solutions. But in a live setting, where you don't want to lug around a lot of gear, the effects included are versatile, sound great, and are really easy to use. Now, of course, nothing's perfect, but for the price, the Allen & Heath ZI-10FX is pretty darn close. The console isn't the most stylish ever, but with its top functionality, its great sound, and features like its effects, it's really a pretty great option. Whether you're a live sound engineer looking for a console to use in smaller situations or someone who's getting used to the or getting started in a studio setting, this is a great console for your needs. Of course, if you're an engineer who's looking for something a little bit more comprehensive and a bit more complex, then you'll probably want to look elsewhere. But again, if you're looking for a smaller console, we can't recommend the ZI 10 FX enough. Thanks again for watching. This is Christian DeLupa for All Things Gear, and I will hope to see you next time.